Hi guys, welcome to Sweden. For this week's vlog, I came to the capital city, Stockholm, and my first stop for this video is gonna be Gamla Stan, the old medieval center of Stockholm. Gamla Stan is a good starting point when visiting Stockholm. Once this is the medieval center where this city was found. Once in there, admire the narrow streets which have changed little in 750 years, as you can see from such prestige medieval treasures. I think uh, lovely Swedish people and of yeah. course this old city is our favorite. Also make sure to spend some time at Gamla Stan Central Square, which is the oldest square of this city and is known as Stor Torket. And this hat. And these hats are yeah. also great. <laughs> Marvel at the royal palace and its Baroquean style. Although, don't expect to catch a glimpse of the royals, hence their favorite location is Drottningholm Palace. Stop by the Golden Crown at the middle of Skepholmen Bridge for a stunning view over the royal palace. And by the way, did you know that this city has a total of 57 bridges? Yeah, that's it, 57. This is the city with more bridges around the world, and that's because this city has a total of 14 different islands. The city hall is one of the most visited landmarks when in here, as well as the only one you can see from many other places around the city. This part of Stockholm is very different um, from the, the new city and yeah, it's very, very pretty. Although what makes Stockholm such a special city is their bound between those historical landmarks with new modern creations. Therefore, this city is known to be built on top of ideas was between those busy streets and modern architecture buildings that some of the most popular worldwide inventions were created, such as Skype, Spotify and IKEA. If you, if you like uh, good weather, you should not come here, but if you like uh, you know, history and um, you know, old nice buildings, stuff like that, then I think it's a really good place to go, yeah. This city subway is known as the world's large art gallery, with the majority of its stations adorned with paintings, sculptures and mosaics. In fact, this is an amazing idea to avoid freezing outside. I think it's a very beautiful city, uh, year round, but uh, summer is best, or spring. People are really nice, and the city centre is so small that you can just stroll around in the old town and have a good time. The Vasa Museum is Scandinavia's most visited museum, and also the only one to display an almost fully intact 17th century, 69 meters long worship. Once in this museum, you will find out how the life inside the Vasa ship was like. At the ABBA Museum you can do a real journey down memory lane of this band's personal history and collective success until the amazing Mamma Mia movies. To celebrate this super trooper you can become a dancing queen at the ABBA karaoke or simply lay all your love over their official costumes. And Mamma Mia, their costumes were stunning. This museum is a real knowing me, knowing you experience. Although, don't expect them to give you a man after midnight, but chiquitita. Make sure you have lots of fun, hence the winner will always take it all. Guys, this was it for this week. I really hope you liked this video and I see you on next trip.